again, but we changed the rules. I can't look. In best life, you ain't gotta stress me out. I've been smoking weed and buying NFTs up in the club. I live in a penthouse. I'ma hold a funeral for all the ether that I spent when I'm. What up, Music NFT Radio? We are back with another podcast episode. Today with a special guest in our community, Joey Koff. Really excited to get into this one with another artist in the Web3 space, another rapper. So if you're listening on YouTube, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel, Music NFT Radio. We have all these interviews on YouTube as well as all podcast sites. So check it out wherever you want to listen, but make sure to come to the live show on Twitter. It's 24-7. We talk music NFTs. We play the hits of Web3 and music NFTs. This is Music NFT Radio Podcast. We're back with another special interview today with a collector, Joey Koff, who's also a really talented artist, someone I had the pleasure of meeting at NFT NYC. He even gave me a dope shirt, which was so hilarious. It said, we'll rap for NFTs. So, Joey, you've been doing a lot in the Web3 community. I appreciate your support. I appreciate that we have a collab together, which is dope. A really great story, which I think we'll have to tell here on the podcast. But let's get into it a little bit. I want to start with your background and let you really tell your story. This is about spotlighting you as an artist and everything that you're doing in the Web3 space. But I always like to start off with a little bit of background get to know you. So Joey Koff, welcome to Music NFT Radio Podcast. (laughs) Thanks for having me. And no, I'm not sick. For those of you that don't know, that's my trademark cough. So don't worry about me. I'm I'm just fine, physically at least. But uh, yeah, it's a a pleasure to be here. Um, I really appreciate it, man. Like you said, I'm a collector. And, um, you know, it feels good to get to get support back. You know, I didn't collect your stuff because I felt like it was going to benefit me. I just liked what you were doing, but it actually has benefited me a lot. You know, you uh, made me a, a full time speaker on music NFT radio. You actually you're actually my first collector. You actually bought my first NFT. So, um, yeah, I really appreciate that. But um, as far as my background goes, um, I'm from Flint, Michigan. I actually started out um a long time ago man i started uh out doing like freestyle battles and just trying to go around to different studios and um pretty much any any way i could possibly get in the booth get in the studio i was down for it i didn't care how much money i had to spend i mean i would literally beg people to get in the studio so i just love doing music um love hip-hop music and i um through through I, I won like 16 rap battles at this club that used to be here in Flint, Michigan called JB's Nightclub. And every it was uh every week I would go there and I would I would win and I would win a hundred dollars every time. So that was pretty cool because that was like my drinking money at that time, man. I'd go there, win a hundred bucks, get you know, spend half of it on alcohol and party and whatever. But through that I started to really get my name known around here locally and I actually got a record deal with a uh, independent label that was starting up around here. Uh, the guy who started it actually used to, he had a hit song back in the day in the industry and did some stuff, but he ended up leaving the industry to get into some other business and he had, was just getting back in it. And uh, he really liked me. And um, so, yeah, he kind of took me under his wing, signed me to an artist development deal. And, you know, we did a lot of cool stuff over the years, like went to California, shot a video. Um, We had a deal with iTunes at one time where I had my music on the front page of iTunes. But, um, you know, through the course of the years, nothing really super major ever, ever happened. We weren't making millions of dollars or anything like that. And so um, long story short, uh, we ended up he ended up kind of shutting down the label. And um, so that left me to be a free agent. And so since then, man, I've just been navigating, trying to do things on my own. Um, I got my own, you know, studio equipment and really learned how to record, mix and master and, you know, just financing my whole, you know, entire career, man, Um, videos. And, you know, I still did some battles here and there, but that's that's kind of just like an element of what I can do. But I, I really never wanted to be known as a battle rapper. I always liked making music more than actually battling, but it was just kind of like, I look at it like a sport, you know, something to compete in. I like to compete. So that was something that I did too. Um, and then, you know, I, I kind of got to a point where I, you know, I was doing music for, for so long and it felt like, 
you know, even though I, I was getting local attention, nothing major was happening. And, you know, I have kids and bills and stuff like that. So it's like, you know, I had to kind of step away from it for a while. And um, every time I would step away from music, man, I would I would feel kind of I just wouldn't feel right. I just kind of feel down, you know what I mean? And then whenever I would go and make a new song or get booked for a show or something i would always feel good i would it just was like man like this is what i'm supposed to be doing whether i'm making money or not it doesn't matter and then um you know when i started finding out about i started trading stocks and crypto a little bit and then i found out about nfts and um i was like wow like this is kind of interesting like this might be a way where i can you know do it do what i love to do and, and actually you know benefit from it in a real way you know and so i started to get on different i started doing research getting on different twitter spaces that's how i met you you know got on uh, one of your twitter spaces and i actually had this song invest life i just had the chorus on it at the time and i kind of had you in mind when i made the song i was thinking of a couple artists who were like kind of big in in this space and you're definitely one of the ones that came to mind so it was an honor that you actually heard the song and um and I didn't ask you to be on it. I kind of just played the song for you. And then you're like, wow, you know, I might actually want to do something uh, to that. So I had like had my fingers crossed the whole time. Like, please, please, like get on the song, bro. Like that would be so dope. And, you know, man of your word, you got on the song. And so, yeah, the rest is history, man. It's a dope track. And, you know, I just keep progressing, you know, in, in, uh, in this industry and, and in the whole Web3 community. And so here we are. Hell yeah, man. I think that was awesome the way you came in with it. And, you know, you didn't come in the wrong way or with any bad vibes or even like the fact that you didn't come in. You're like, yo, bro, you got to get on this record. Like, you know, you just came in and played the song and I was vibing with it naturally. And so that was really the first collab for me that had came out of Web3, honestly, because I mean, in terms of just very genuinely coming out of the community organically, that was one of the first. So, uh, and the song is incredible too. It's fire, right? The track is a banger. So, uh, I really like how that went down, man. And I'm proud to say that that is one of the first Web three only collabs that I put out there. So that's why we had to intro with the Invest Life song. You already know. Yeah, most definitely. It's a banger for sure, man. And um, yeah, I just appreciate you getting on it. And shout out to Marcus uh, FK DeLuca. He's on the song too. So, and I, I met him through this community too, through uh, Twitter. I was just kind of looking through Twitter, seeing who was making noise. And I seen some stuff that he was doing. And so I reached out to him and, you know, he, he got on the track too. So yeah, it came together quite nicely, man. It, it was It was pretty cool how everything worked out. Yeah, and for sure. And I'm happy to support. And, you know, I've been trying to help you get more into the Web3 space, make some more connections for music NFTs. You've been coming in music NFT radio all the time, which is awesome. Super important. Helping to grow your community every day. So we're happy to have you on here, man, and, and finally get to hear a little bit more about your story as well. And so I think what we did with Invest Life was great because we just put it out. We got it out there. There's some NFTs on Mint songs. They're not too expensive. And that's a great way to enter the space, I think. Just start with something small, get a few sales going, see what it feels like to have an NFT sale and network in the community, and then continue going from there, right? So that's kind of the point you're at now. I know you're working on a bigger project and you have some stuff that you're releasing as NFTs. So maybe you could get into a little bit of what you're doing in the Web3 space now and how you're looking at your next drop as an artist who's bringing an album into the Web3 space for the first time. Yeah, uh, no doubt. Yeah, so I plan on releasing probably a couple more singles before I actually do the entire album. I pretty much have an album done right now, but you know, I'm still trying to build. I'm not just trying to drop a whole entire project and put all this time and money and energy into it, you know, for nothing. Um, so I've just been getting on, um, a lot of different people's spaces. Um, shout out to Pete Hoddle. He's here right now, actually from our sounds. Um, they, they, uh, hosted a space, a couple spaces and had me on there. And so I really appreciate, you know, the love that they're giving me. Um, and yeah, just getting on different people's spaces, doing, doing concerts, showcasing my music and, and listening to other people too, you know, because it's not all about me. So I go on other spaces sometimes just to kind of listen to other people. You know, I, I'm my plan 
is to start doing uh, more of my own spaces, you know, maybe once a week or biweekly. Um, and just kind of telling my story, building up fans that way. And, you know, and also letting them kind of tell their story and, and more of like a, like a team, like a, a team kind of thing, not just about me, even though I might be the one that's going to host the actual space, but it's not just about, Hey, listen to my music and buy my stuff. It's like, I want to hear what other people have going on too. You know what I mean? Cause we're all in this together and we all have different talents and I think we all have something to bring to the table. So um, my, my plan, you know, is to basically, like I said, release a couple singles, um, and start, you know, doing my own spaces more and, and starting to build more of an audience. And then when I feel like it's ready, you know, then I'm going to do the album drop, you know, and it, it'll probably be a thing where actually, um, I have a, a free NFT that I've been giving out and I think I have like 12 left right now. So if anybody's interested in that, actually send me a DM and say, Hey, I'm interested in your free NFT. And what it is, it's an album cover to a mixtape. And with the, it's like I said, it's hundred percent free. It's on Polygon. There's no gas or anything. Um, but you get the, uh, you get the artwork, but you also, if you click in the unlockable content, you get the mixtape for free too. So you get a free mixtape of mine. And then also, that's going to put you on a white list for when I actually do my album drop. Um, you're going to have access to it before everybody and it's going to be a better price than everybody too. So um, that's something that I'm, that I'm definitely trying to implement right now too. So just yeah. Do- yeah. That's dope, man. So th- this is awesome. And I think what's really important here. And I think the, the topic for the title of this one, it's going to be around a, a new artist bringing their album into the space, right? So I think that you're a model for how to bring your stuff into the space. You know, you start with a couple basic drops. If it's something inexpensive on Polygon or Mint Songs, or even if you got a couple inexpensive starter items on ETH, you know, you get it out there, you feel it out, you see what it feels like to mint a couple NFTs and then go out and try to sell them. And how do you go out to try to sell them? It's Twitter spaces. Like you said, it's about going into different spaces, talking where it's appropriate, telling them about what you do, sharing your work, just genuinely connecting with people and discovering and exploring. And I think you outlined how you do that really well. And then now you're talking about ideas to build your community even further, like a free mint and giving access to the album drop when it comes. So you're building up the hype, you're building up your list, you're starting to build up your community. You know, you've taken all the right steps, right? And you're going through the right channels on Twitter spaces and now kind of moving into something a little more where there's going to be an NFT connected. It's going to be a free mint. You're going to be able to collect some info and get connected to the people who are going to mint at that next phase when the album comes out. So, yeah, I think it's a great breakdown you did there just naturally talking about your story and how you're working your way into the space. And I'm glad we could uh, be a part of that journey and, and help guide you in the right direction and all of that. And it seems like everything's going really well. So, uh, yeah, man, maybe tell us a little bit more about the album and the music itself that's coming out and the NFT as well. Yeah, for sure. So the, uh, the project is called Cough Coin. And um, there's it's kind of a mixture of like crypto related uh, music, but also music that has nothing to do with crypto because, you know, I want it to be accessible to everybody. I don't just want people who are into crypto to enjoy the album. So like the intro uh, is called The Solution, and that's actually a song that's pretty much about crypto and like the problems that it solves and how the system's kind of messed up. Um and then there's like invest life. I'm definitely putting that song on there. And that's just about investing in general, but obviously crypto is a part of that. Um, but there's other songs on there too. Like I said, that have uh, nothing to do with crypto. Like the song actually I already released called my recipe. I'm going to put that song on there. And um, you know, that that's just pretty much me comparing myself to a chef. You know what I mean? I'm just cooking it up or whatever. So that's pretty dope. Um, and let me see. I actually have another song on there. It's one of the realest songs that I ever wrote, and it's called Look at You Now. 
and it might not seem like it really fits into the project but it's a it's just such a real song like i talk about in the first verse i talk about like my demons and stuff and what i've had to overcome and then in the second verse i'm actually it's a verse about like a female who was like abused and mistreated but like she overcame it and look at her now so I think one of the things that's kind of been my gift and a curse is that if you go back and listen to my discography on all of my albums, I I never really have like one central like theme to my albums. Like I always kind of go from topic to topic and it's cool if you like that, but I think it's been actually one thing that's kind of held me back because people are like, well, what's, what's your style? You know, that's always a common question you get. What do you rap about? What's your style? And it's like, well, it depends how I'm feeling at the time. You know, if I'm in a funny mood, I might make a funny song. If I'm going through some some real stuff, I might make a real life song. But so this album's kind of the same. Like I said, crypto has kind of got a theme cough coin to it. And there's some, you know, money talk on there and whatever. But I still got some some real um, concepts on it, too. So I think it's going to be a good, solid, uh, complete project. And I think people are going to really enjoy it. That's dope, man. I mean, the passion is important. I think having a diverse style is great. You know, I always have a diverse style. You know, I'm not worried to be a little bit experimental, try some different things, you know, have different topics. And and that's something that you can hear on Crypto Rich for sure. I mean, I tried all different styles. I tried all different things. And so I think that's dope. I mean, that's something that I've incorporated in my music. So I like what you're saying, man. I like what you're doing and bringing to the space. I'm excited for the album and definitely excited for the NFT too. So what are your plans for the NFT so far? Um, you know, my plans are, I'm not, nothing set in stone yet, of course, but um, I kind of want to do something around the number 613 because that's my birthday, you know, 613. So I'm thinking maybe mint like six, 613 of them and, um, I want to definitely make some different versions, you know, so make some of them more rare than others. And then I'm thinking of even doing something where it's like there's one like one specific copy that you can that you can get that like it it's costs more than the other ones, but you get you get some extra um utility with it and you get maybe you get a couple songs that like I will never release anywhere else to anybody else and they're your songs, you can do whatever you want with them, you can put them out you can keep them to yourself you can do whatever you want but i'm just kind of still chopping up you know some different ideas kind of deciding what i want to do to really make the project stand out and make it as valuable as possible to consumers that's dope man yeah i mean it's there's so many ways to do a music nft but i think you're bringing in some of the right stuff adding rarity thinking about making different versions thinking about collectors and how you're going to bring value to them. I like the collection size. It's on the smaller size. It's good to start out that way. You can always build from there. So that's what's up, man. I think you're a great model. Of hey, I've never been called a model before, man. So that means a lot to me. I mean, I know I'm handsome, but damn, I never thought I was a model. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, man, you're you're a supermodel at this Supermodel, point, Joey. I mean, wow. <laughs> hell yeah, dude. But you're really creating a good, good blueprint for artists bringing albums into the space. And I think it's important to get that story out there, let people hear about it. So it's great to have you on talking about how you're thinking about this, how you move into the Web3 space, how you're bringing your album into the space. So that's great, man. And I just wanted to also let you plug anything else you're working on or your socials, you know, let people know how they can get involved or, or what they should look out for with your upcoming drop. Yeah. So, I mean, my name, I'm pretty easy to find on everything. It's just Joey Cough, J-O-E-Y-C-O-U-G-H. Um, I just shot, uh, I shot a video in New York when we were at uh, NFT NYC called Top Tier that's out on uh, YouTube right now. So you can check that out. And excuse me, I just, uh, I just went on vacation last week to Tennessee. And while I was there, we rented a really nice cabin in the Smoky Mountains. And so I actually shot um, a video on my iPhone and I actually released that. It's on YouTube and it's on Facebook right now. Um, and it's a remake of the Drake song, Jimmy Cooks. And I called it Joey Cooks. So you can check that out. And yeah, I'm just always releasing new stuff. My plan is to at least release a new video every two weeks i mean i'm on tiktok i'm on everything so 
um, yeah, just just keep checking in with me and you'll you'll hear my new content. And uh, I actually got something special for you, too, man. Uh, this morning, I went outside in my backyard, put a beat on and I actually wrote a verse. So I wanted to spit something for you, if you don't mind. Hell yeah, let's go. And I mean, this is like I said, literally like brand new exclusive. Like I literally wrote this in my backyard just a couple hours ago. So, yeah, want to want to have you check this out. Let me see. Hold on, let me put this beat to the beginning. Let's go. Music NFT <laughs> exclusive. Let's go. All right. Let's get up. Yo, hey yo, it's an epidemic of rappers that ain't sick. Just a bunch of little goop saying the same shit. No ceiling, I keep building like Abu Dhabi. It's an obsession, it ain't a job, and it's not a hobby. Flint General, call me Bob Pirani. Yeah, and I'm tending to my goals. All the stress took a toll. Now I'm mending all the holes. Had to get myself together, find pleasure in the cold. Words in my brain became an expression in my soul. Now I know you probably don't want to hear this shit. You probably want to hear that typical fuck a bitch shit, and that's cool. I ain't got nothing against it, but I'm trying to get this weight off my chest like a bench press. So let's rep and go to failure for 10 sets. That's that's how I push it every day to build this immense strength. Heartbeat 200 BPM and I'm sweating until I get drenched. Soaking wet, got to stretch next. But the best flex comes when I collect checks and get the best sex from my wifey. She feisty and she a redhead. Try to touch her, you dead dead. A true dime. Your bitch ain't even worth 10 cents. So get bent like Bart Simpson while I vent with this excess heat that I keep in my head like my temp said. 110. Damn, I got a fever and I stay in the jungle. But I'm caged in this basement away from the trouble. Stay safe in this cave with a couple of bangers and I'll let the motherfuckers burst if you're invading my bubble. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Music NFT radio exclusive debut with Joey Cough. Whoa now. Let's Whoa get now. it. Hell yeah, bro. Appreciate you coming on. That shit was fire, man. That was dope. I love to have you spit live here on the podcast. That was special, man. We really appreciate you coming in. Everyone, make sure to tap in with Joey Cough. You know, retweet the room as well here on Music NFT Radio if you enjoyed that little freestyle with Joey. Joey, thanks for coming in, man. We're going to get this podcast out and let people know about your story. You know, that's the idea here. So thanks for coming on, bro. Yeah, thanks, fam. Thanks for having me. Appreciate everybody for tuning in. And um, yeah, I, I'm definitely not going to be a stranger. I'll be back. Let's go, everyone. If you're listening to the Music NFT Radio podcast on YouTube, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let Joey know what you think about his new NFT drop and his upcoming album. If you're listening on all podcast sites, that's where you can find us, Music NFT Radio. You can also come on to the live show. So come hang out with us on Twitter Spaces, on Music NFT Radio. We go 24-7 we play the hits of Web3 and Music NFTs. We got Dill. We got Joey Cough on the playlist. Of course, we got Invest Life in there. So come check it out. Come hang out with us live on Twitter. You know the vibes. We'll be back again with more special guests here on Music NFT Radio Podcast. Let's go. We'll see you all later. <laughs>